Hi guys, Miss Jessica here. We're in week six um, of Orangewood Aces um, Steam Academy. Um, this week we are going to make bouncy balls. I'm so excited. Um, I've already pre-made one to show you guys. Um, they're really cool, really cool. So, um, and they bounce, really cool, awesome. Um, we are going to also be making for your second project is um, kind of like a reflection. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to take the, there's a toothpick in here and you're going to dot out um, a picture on the paper that I put in here. And then you're going to take the rubber band and attach it to heat the flashlight and then turn the flashlight on and then put it on the wall and it should make a big picture on the wall that's what should happen um you let me know if it works out for you it did work out for me so um you could also if you don't want to punch it out maybe take a black pen and draw a picture on here and try it that way too um it's just a little experiment i want to see uh what you guys can do with it. Um, back to our main project is a bouncy ball. So what you're gonna receive in your kit is gonna be this bag. These uh, little packages are all the packages, um, the different colors that you can use to make your ball. I used um, green and pink, and then you will each have a glow-in-the-dark package that you can add some to your balls in order to make them glow in the dark it's really cool um, and then there's instructions in here and then you will have the mold which is reusable so um, you're either going to have this mold or this mold and it just pops apart and then pops back together um, just when you're putting it back together have your parents be very careful because they're not made all that great and they might snap apart and then i don't know you'll have to find something else to use to make your balls with but um again yeah so this is your kit that you're going to receive the materials that you're going to need to make your ball is you're going to need hot water or warm really warm water um, you're going to need a container to put the mold in to pour the water into. So I'll get to showing you guys how to make a ball. I'm just going to use the same color. So you can see that I didn't use very much of my bags to make that ball. So you guys are going to get lots of materials to make lots lots and lots of balls um they came as a kit and what i did is i just separated the kit into to two students and so you you guys got a lot um so yeah what you do is you just pour some of your material some of your your powder into your container I'm going to mix some of my glow in the dark. So this glow in the dark is white. Um, some of the glow in the dark is yellow. It just depends on which one you got. Um, add some of that. And then I'll add some of the pink. You'll notice that I use these colors a lot. They were my son's favorite colors. So I kind of gravitate towards them a lot. Yes, boys, uh, it's okay to like pink. My son loved it. So um, on the instructions, it tells you not to go too far uh, into the top of the mold, otherwise it's not going to bounce right. 
So just go right right to the to the tip like I did right there. You can you can see. Kind of pat it down. Then put your your mold into a container and then you want to fill it with water. Be very careful to try not to knock your mold over. As it fills with water, because it has little holes in it, so as it fills with water, it'll kind of get more sturdy to where it's not gonna fall over. And then you let it sit for 10 minutes. Um, once the 10 minutes is over, you take it out of the water and you let it sit for 10 more minutes out of the water on a nice dry paper towel or something that it can kind of drain on because it's going to have water leaking out of it. So you don't want to just set it on the counter. Um, not that it's going to hurt anything because the colors don't bleed out. Um, it didn't on my counter anyway. Um, but I would, I would say put it on a paper towel or something. And then um, after that 10 minutes, the, after the 20 minutes, um, you can unmold it. And then and I noticed that the center was still a little wet. Um, so it wasn't very sturdy. Um, so I would say let it dry for a, for, a, for a, quite a while longer, maybe an hour or so, and um, let it completely dry before you try to play with it. Um, but once it's all dry, you end up with a bouncy ball. Really cool. I thought these were really, really neat. Um, I hope you guys enjoy them. I enjoyed making it for you guys. Um, my nephew, Dustin, loves it. Um, and so does my one-year-old. So, I mean, you guys are all ages. You guys will love this. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are doing really well at home. And um, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.